Hello and welcome. This is Hless John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. And I'd like to do this time is show you how to add the settings uh, to your already existing app using the templates. Now, in order to do this, we want to actually have something to add it to. So I'd like you to start a new Android Studio project uh, and name it anything you want. I'm going to name mine. I've already created mine. Um, so I'm going to name mine, uh, I think I call mine Edition or something like that, Android Edition, Settings Edition. Next, and let's create something that's got an uh, a action bar on it. So I have tabbed activity since we're familiar with these. We've done these in the last couple of tutorials. And with View Pager and then Finish and then create a, a already existing blank, albeit. All yeah. right, now that you've got it created and up, I uh, would like for you to start your emulator so that we can look at this before we make any changes. And as you might have guessed, uh, it's not going to be terribly impressive because, you know, it's just very generic and you already know what this looks like. So, what do we do in order to get these settings added to our already existing app? Well, what you want to do is because yours will just have the main activity in it, go in here right click new activity and then add settings activity and you just want to finish this you don't want to change any of the any of the settings whatsoever and then it should add this app comp preference activity and setting activity and then you're ready to go since you've already got your um, emulator running what you should do is come in here and make sure you know hit settings and when you click settings nothing happens it won't run anything so we have to change that so that's what this tutorial is about how to get your settings to actually run when you click settings so what we want to do is we want to go in here to our main activities and we want to look for options on options item selected this right here about line 77 and this tag right here, this the statement, no inspection simplifiable if statement. This is the area that you want to change. So right after this curly bracket, just come in here, enter, enter. What we want to do here is put a new intent statement. So intent and intent equals new intent. And we will put in this settings activity comma class and end the statement and actually that's that's wrong that's period and the small class because uh, we're using the settings activity which is over here which is a class file a Java class file so that's why that's that and then enter and then start activity intent because that's right there all right and that will cause your 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 settings file to load properly but we just push play and test it and once it's up and running you just go up here and test it by clicking here clicking settings and there are your settings there you go now you do have to use the back arrow to get back to your your app uh, but that is the absolute bare bones minimum you need to know to get your settings to actually show up in your app. So there you go. This is H.L. John teaching other Android Studio tutorial. Glad you could join me. As always, don't forget to subscribe and to thumbs up, and I'll see you around.